This is the single largest PVM broadcast in RuneScape history. And this is how I did it. This broadcast has four major components, each more difficult than the last. For starters, we've got the Arch Glacor. And then we're gonna be following that up with Telos. After Telos, we're gonna be heading to Zamorok, the Lord of Chaos. And then last, but not least, we'll be going to Hard Mode Zuck. The single greatest broadcast in RuneScape history wouldn't be complete without a core. So why don't we head to the Arch Glacor and get one of those right now. All right, well that was terrible, but it's fine. We begin. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody go for something like this before, so I'm very excited. I feel like people care so much more about the core. I don't even feel like the book is needed. I'll see how I'm feeling about Glacier, though. But yeah, I'm still getting four minute kills at uh, 1500 in range. Like, it seems fine, no? Which is good. Oh, that's so sick! Surely it's just a waste of time to go to 200, because like, two cores doesn't broadcast better than one core. Now that we've got an Arch Glacier core in the chest, we've encountered our first problem, which is of course, that if I were to just claim that core, well, that's not the greatest broadcast in RuneScape history, that's just a core. So we need to do a little bit of clever use of game mechanics in order to retain our core and keep it in a place where we can claim it at any point. At the end of our last kill, we've been prompted to either continue our challenge or to claim our loot. But if you don't want to do either of those things, it's as simple as clicking the big red X at the top of your screen, and just like that, I can click on this chest outside of the Arch Glacier Arena at any point, and the core broadcast is mine. The way to do that is to quick hop, I believe. Okay, yeah, and now I have ready. I'm out of the Glacier instance, but I have a claimable core. With the Arch Glacier out of the way, it's time to hit up Telos, the second and last streak boss in the game. But Telos works a little bit differently than Glacor, because unlike Glacor, where the core is the only exceptionally cool drop, Telos has seven separate uniques on the table, and all of them are pretty common. The only thing we're gonna have to do here to get an absolutely ridiculous broadcast is to quite simply streak 200 kills in a row without making a single mistake. I think this is gonna be pretty light work, but I've also never done this before, so if I mess up, well, you all get to laugh at me. Let's get it. Wait, do I need a Stadius War Hamster? No, 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 I'm the first Necromancer. No shot. Conjuration, Life Transformation, Death Markeration, and then just like this. Did it die? Oh god, wait, he has life points. That's really embarrassing. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Did I win? Damn. <laughs> it kind of feels like it doesn't really matter what the setup is. It just kind of feels like it's fine. That's my 7,000th Telo skill? I have a problem. I had no idea it was that bad. I've done 600 hours of Telos. <gasps> no way! No! Wait! <laughs> um. I, I think that might be a drop. It could be an orb. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> nice. I think I'm getting better. I've said this before, but the whole point of this is to help you guys and prospective new people watch RuneScape through. Pause? Did I win? <laughs> okay. It's soccer time. Continue. <laughs> No! No way. 
No way! Ain't no way! Oh, there's actually no way. <laughs> you hate to see it! No! Pause? Okay, never mind. <laughs> you hate to see it, you really do. <laughs> okay, someone just walked into my room and dropped a baguette on my bed. Like a, like a French baguette. And now Pippin is on my bed eating the baguette! Oh my, he's eating the baguette. He's, he's, he's gobbling up the baguette. On my bed, there's bread all over my bed! Look at him! Oh, that's a drop! Wait, I think that's a drop. Hold. Did I win? <laughs> Dude, Telos is a troll boss. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, no shot, I got nuked! I have 300 life points left. It's not gonna eat though. Nah, -uh, that's what the Blood Reaver's for. Any droppers? Pog! Oh, it's a doormat. Oh no. That's a dormant stick of sadness, I think. Not another book! I can't read it anyway. <gasps> I'm rich! Let's three King Go! He's actually rich. Holy crap. I've never died in my life. And I will not perish at the hands of one tentacly boy. It would take an army of tentacly boys to kill me. Oh, that's a sand god bow! Oh no! No, I don't want one! No, that's not Kratz. I'm gonna lose it. Just don't die. I'm going to. I've signed four times today. When you lose a streak in RuneScape, you get to keep 75% of your loot. But unfortunately for me, that is rounded down, which means anything that you have one single copy of, you lose the entirety of. So for this dormant Saren Godbo that is worth well over a billion coins, if I make a single mistake in this streak, it's completely and utterly gone. So now, for the entire rest of this 200 kill streak, if I make a single mistake or I mess up even once, I'm going to be losing a whole lot more than just my time. I did not actually want that. All right, it's fine. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <gasps> That's a corrupt orb, I think. Wait, pause? Dude, this chest is so sick! We almost have a dormant chest! Oh, this is so nasty. This boss is so much fun. Why haven't we done this before? I was so worried about, oh, well, 2419s are better meta, whatever. Dude, this is so much more fun. Are you kidding me? Continue the challenge. That almost killed me. Oops. Not bad. Uh, okay, this is good. Because this means if I die, I get to keep a soccer ball. No, 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 this is, we like this. This is big, big for the account. That's a soccer ball. Oh yeah, that's a soccer ball. Boom! Dude, this chest is getting absolutely gargantuan. Am I not taking darts just in case? Bro, necromancy is like darts, but I have to use my brain. It's kind of the same thing, you know? Here's the thing. If I was risking like a stupid amount of money, 100% I'd bring darts. Like if I was risking like, I don't know, 1.6 or 1.7 bill, like totally, I'm, I'm right there with you. Yeah, that would be stupid to not. Hmm. I have a thing to do after this kill. Don't forget, Ryan is approaching 30. I'm not approaching 30. You're approaching having to send an unban request. I'm approaching 30. I'm sorry. In my age, sometimes my anger comes out. <laughs> I didn't get my nap in today, and you know, it just like... Hey, good news is, statistics show that the average person, when you ask old people what age they could go, they wish they could go back to, they usually say 36. The bad news is, statistics have outliers, and I peaked in middle school. I got hero point. <gasps> That's an orb. That's a black orb. We've got two full orb sets in here. Oh, come on! Wait. What? Maybe I am old. No, 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 no. 
We're, we go to spec savers right now. I'm gonna send in my glass and I'm gonna say, just add another layer. <laughs> I didn't see that at all. Okay, sorry, it's a bit of an aside. Can I take a colorblind test? What the? F Wait, no, I got it. These are really hard. Nothing, nothing. That's a one. How did I fail? The Euro Pass really had me taking colorblindness tests, but then I still failed the test. I can't believe this. Oh, <gasps> pause. Holy crap, two form sets. Goodbye. That was a really slow kill, holy moly. <gasps> That's another dormant. Oh my God, a stick of sadness, but he's not sad at all. One drop off a full dormant chest. I just signed. Holy crap. What? Ha! We're fine. Whew, okay. That was an undertaking for seeds. I'm not gonna lie. That's another Saren combo! Oh my god! This is the absolute goat chest! Dude, I just need to not die. If I die with this chest, holy crap! Continue challenge. Man, it sure is a good thing I'm not risking like 2 billion coins. That'd be crazy if I was, you know? <gasps> no freaking way, dude. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 drops. Oh, I forgot the reprisal. Sorry, 11 drops. Wait, so does, it, does that mean this is the last kill? That should be a 200 kill streak at Telos. Am I allowed to continue? That was, in fact, not the last kill. <sighs> it's not, it's not, it's not. We all got baited. All of us got baited. I got baited too. Uh, so I gotta do another one? Oh my God, I almost died there. That was my one game tick. He survives. <laughs> Whew, that was really bad. <laughs> it was not a good ending. All right. That is a 200 kill streak done. It will not let me continue. Unfortunately, no dormant chest. Although we didn't manage to get the Zaros God Sword, we've got six separate uniques in the chest. We've got all three orbs, a reprisal codex, the dormant staff of Sliske, and of course, the extremely expensive dormant Saren Godbow. So for me, I'm very happy with that. And at any point, whenever I want to claim it, that is six more additions to our broadcast. The third component of our broadcast spam is a whole lot more difficult than the first two, because unlike at Telos and Glacor, which are streak bosses where I can see exactly what is in the chest, Zamorak isn't quite the case. Although there is a notification when I get a unique and my character will be surrounded by these beautiful green sparkles, unfortunately, until I click on that chest, I'm gonna have no idea what's in there. Which means Zamorak has the potential to completely screw up this entire broadcast spam. Because let me tell you, I'm going in for a bow piece. And I am absolutely not gonna call this the greatest broadcast in RuneScape history if I open up that chest and there's a Chaos Roar in there. So because of that, we're gonna need to do everything we can to maximize our chances of getting a bow piece. And the best way to do that is to crank our enrage as high up as we possibly can. As long as you're above 2000% enrage, you've got the highest chance for a bow piece. So let's do that right now. Death mark! I forgot death mark. Are you kidding me? What? But... They haven't fixed that bug in a year and a half? Bro, how is that possible? So because they got Infernus on P6, it acted as though there was a B rune above my head. So when I searched the rune we're supposed to kill, it said RS guy touched the wrong rune and killed us both. Okay, so the goal here is I don't want to get a drop with this reroll. Please no. Okay, nice. So I must have a stupid amount of bad luck mitigation now. Yeah, I should be at a one in five now. Okay, this is good. I should be at a one in five now. Okay, progress. Progress, progress. I just need that one drop in the chest. We're fine. <laughs> Thanks, Necromancy! No drop.
Any greens? Oh! Oh my god, I'm done! Yes! Let's go! Diane deserves the biggest props for carrying my ass to this. Okay! Huge, huge props to Diane. <laughs> now that we've got our Arch Glacier core, we've got our 200 kills streak at Telos, and we have our mystery Zamorak drop, the bases are loaded. And it's time for the final component of our broadcast. All we have to do is go to hard mode Zuck until we get a unique drop. And unlike the other bosses that we've done up to this point, the Zuck loot isn't gonna appear when we click on the chest. It's gonna be dropped as soon as we kill Zuck. So effectively, I need to be ready, completely and utterly prepared, so that the second we hit that random one in 15 roll for a Zuck unique, it's gonna be go time. The one thing we're gonna put into action before we head to Zuck is Solak, and the reason for it is quite simple. Its loot mechanics function exactly the same as Zamorak's, in the sense that you can kill the boss and then claim your loot at a future point. So there's no real reason not to get one singular Solak kill and then just forget to loot the boss. As soon as we get our Zuck drop and we claim our other broadcasts, we're gonna head to Ambi and Dart Ambi. And then after that, I'm also gonna loot Solak. And hopefully, if we have the luck for it, we might even find ourselves an additional drop there. And that just gives us two additional chances to get another drop. This is highly unlikely to work out, but we may as well try it, because at this point, I have been PVMing for weeks setting this thing up, so we may as well do every little thing we can to make this as epic as possible. With that said, it's time to get to Zuck. We need to find a world that I can... I'm gonna try world two and just see how bad it is. And if it's terrible, we'll only do one run. Or I'll straight up give up on it. Oh my God, it's so laggy. You know what? Lag is in the mind. As long as I pretend like I'm not laggy, I think it'll be fine. Oh, it's really laggy. Okay, well, whatever. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. But yeah, the hitbox on the flame is kind of bad. <laughs> Look at it. As you can see, case in point. <laughs> All right, HSR is on. Here we go. No, didn't happen. Did I win? A sub 18, but we did not get a unique, so we've got to continue. Is this the drop? No? Dude, we're getting fast though. We're getting consistent. Oh God. I have to barricade. Oh no. That's awkward. All right, ADIS are on. Here we go. Nope. Nope. It's a hero fast level. New PR though too. That's kind of cool. Ah, pain. All right, go again. We keep killing it at this pace. We're going to be gaming. You didn't realize, maybe we shouldn't be doing it like this, considering I don't have a sign of life, but I have like, I've not missed a single uh, Jad hit the entire day, and I've done them all like this, so maybe we're good now. All right, team, here we go. Luck ring is locked and loaded. What do you got for your boss? Dude, come on, Zuck. Zuck, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. All right, we go in. Living death for drops? No drop for me, man. 1,500 people? This is a stupid idea. Why is Zuck's last phase like that? Nobody knows. Okay, H's are on. What do you got for your boss? Chest at 100 mil. Nope. We go again. All right. Is it time? Here we go. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Unlock this. Unlock that. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Okay, wait. And ready? Bang. Holy crap. Go, go, go. Glacor, give me the core. Okay, <laughs> Zammy, Zammy, Zammy. Go. Claim boss loot. Oh my God, Zammy title. Bang that. That's Zammy title. Wait, wait, ready? Ready, ready, ready. Click on the pet, click on the pet. Bang. Zammy title done. Nobody does it like he does. After an absolutely insane spam from four bosses, it was time to check out the Ambassador and a Solak. I loaded up my dart, I teleported to the Shadow Reef, and unfortunately, he didn't have anything for me. And the same could be said about Marathel outside of the Solak arena, who unfortunately was out of broadcasts to give. Holy crap, that was amazing. <laughs> that was so fun. We go, we got the whole thing done in under two minutes. That's so insane. I can't believe I got my Zamorak title. This was like literally perfect. I got sent the friend broadcast what it looked like too. That's unreal. We have to see all the drops though. Okay. Dude, five build without commons is kind of insane. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think that was like a six and a half bill claim. And just like that, we've got it done. The largest PVM broadcast 
in RuneScape history, and it could not have gone off better than it did. The fact that we got our last bow piece for the Zamorak title and we got to claim the pet too, just icing on the cake. After selling all the loot, we managed to claim six and a half billion coins in broadcasts in about two minutes, which is absolutely ridiculous. And this is one of the most enjoyable things I've ever done in RuneScape. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate leaving a subscription to the channel because that helps me out a lot and it lets me know that you like what you're seeing and you want to see more of it. In addition, feel free to leave a like, drop a comment down below because I read every single one of them, and I will see you guys in the next video very soon. There he is!